Thank you very much. Let me start by acknowledging our traditional leaders that are ministers today. Abe Nawaka Sensa. Abe Nawaka Sensa. Your Royal Highnesses, in your big numbers, we appreciate your presence here today. Let me acknowledge my colleagues in cabinet uh, with whom we had to persuade each other to make the decision as to who joins us in managing owning first and then managing Mopan. And I want to change the messaging that we are running today. We are not handing over Mopani. Government remains a shareholder in Mopani, as you have heard, 49%. But we are bringing in uh, new partners, these that I want to acknowledge their presence today. Our esteemed visitors, partners from Abu Dhabi, led by the chief executives of IHC and IRH. Very, very grateful to have you here today with us. Let me acknowledge the presence here today of our provincial leadership, the minister of the province, but also it is in order to recognize the mayor of the city of Kitwe, other mayors, chairpersons that are present here today. It is in order to acknowledge members of parliament from different political parties in this, our constitutional democracy. We acknowledge all of you and thank you for the things that you've said. Two people from born out of the same mother, same father, give them time to say something. Sometimes they say different things, and that's okay. That's the diversity, unity in diversity, that we encourage. I must also acknowledge the presence of church leaders who are ministers today. I must acknowledge the public officers, those who work for the public central government, uh, senior ones, permanent secretaries, those who work for the local government, those that work for parastatus and quasi-government institutions. It is in order to recognize in my view, humble view, that the business community are important and we must recognize them. Suppliers, unions must be recognized. Special recognition to our vehicle, the vehicle that the people of Zambia have used, not today, have been using to own some of our shares in the mining companies. ZCCMIH, obviously IDC, and others. I know the chair of ZCCMIH spoke. Thank you for your presence. It's also my duty to recognize members of the press who sometimes we ignore until the story doesn't come out the way we like it. Then we phone them and say, uh, finish the together. What happened there? Why didn't you report correctly? So we recognize you, the media. And warm, warm recognition to the community of Kitwe, Mufrila, and Abena Kopala won't say, we recognize you here, present here, and indeed those that are watching through 
the technology that is available to us now, today, these days. Celebrating a new culture. Celebrating a new chapter. Celebrating a new beginning as our UPND government leadership, the party leadership, we have said, we said before when we were in opposition that this party will look at the country and manage the country differently, but better. I know many argued with us and said, ah, oh, so, but let me say the leadership of our party, without you, we would have never had the opportunity to do what we are doing today, because we would have never been in government. We know what you went through to deliver this party on the copper belt. But your resilience brought us into office and the ordinary citizen. I think it's time to say thank you to you. Thank you to you. Let me return to celebration, celebrating a new chapter. Here in Mopane, as a business, on the copper belt, in the country, but using Mopane as a reference point today. Today marks a pivotal occasion for the copper belt and Zambia as a whole, bringing a breath of fresh air, a new start, for Mopani Mines, a mine, as Bankambo, our leader, our chief said, an old Bedford truck dumped at the dumping site. And some looked at Mopani as one just to throw liabilities at, loosely, just like that. You dump $1.5 billion of liability on a mine on an asset that is worth something else. But today, we are saying Mopani is a prized asset for us, for me as a cattleman, a prized bull, a prized breeding heifer. Today, we celebrate the rejuvenation of Kitwe, of Mufrila, Honorable Mabeta, Honorable Mumba, the rejuvenation of Mafken. That's what we call Mufrila. Mafken. Something that was taken as a place to dump liabilities. I repeat, today we are saying this asset takes a new turn towards better days. The improvement of livelihoods in this region, on this copper belt, and I know people who like to limit the way they look at things. Life is a bit more complex than that. You rejuvenate Kitwe, Chibuluma Road, as Honorable Mpundu, and I discussed just three days after I assumed public office. He came to my house and challenged me. If you want me to support you, work on Chibuluma Road. I said, my chewant, you've got it. Put it on the list. <laughs> he challenged me that for me to prove that you are a real leader, you must resolve the Mopani problems. I said, we are honorable. Put it on the list. <laughs> and Twalabo Mbelapo. That was at my house. His house. The community house. It's not a joke. This is serious. You only do things that you plan to do. You do things that you plan to do. You work on getting them done. In life, there's nothing called chance. I don't believe in chance myself. 
I must say here, I don't believe in lucky. Lucky comes because you have worked on something. Then things happen. And this is a lesson to the people of Zambia. Aku wombe ni. Mila yobomba. Not to kalafye. And expect a better life. This is one quarrel I have with us as Zambians. We must work hard. We must work in a targeted way, in a deliberate way, in an intentional way. Then we can get things done. Not tantamen. Not tantamen. No. No, 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 no. Apo kupusana. Apo kupusana. Chachine. Mule mafia tantamene, then in Gatauri Latawe, who would take over the Qui? Boma in the Qut. It will affect Boma will assist you, but you must start walking first as individuals, as families. I know today is a happy day. I don't want to say things that may make you feel a little bit down or down, but they must be said. What we are witnessing today. Is a, is a consequence of hard work. And I'll say a few words just around those issues. The relaunch of Mopani, Copper Mine, with our new joint venture partners, joint venture partners working together, Chapamo, Chachin. International Resource Holdings, IRH, from Abu Dhabi. This is a significant moment that citizens raise questions about, and rightly so. Mayor of the city of Kitwe, you said you were struggling to look after the council and the local community of Kitwe for two years. No, you were struggling for the last seven years. He's struggling for the last seven years. Not two years. I went quiet. Iji chin tucha mopani. Chari onai kaka le. Before we formed the government ourselves. We must get our facts right. Facts will help us to solve our problems and not point wrong fingers or fingers at the wrong people. But we are here to, we are in it together. We are in it together. So, it is important that citizens who have waited for so long for this asset to be turned around, today can celebrate. Today, they can look at Kitwe Mufurila through the prism of a rejuvenating Mopani in a different way. Elia Shinya. Tebio, kare wangu, kare wangu, kare kare, kare kare, kare kare, kare kare. Wangu tache, wa tebio. Wangu tache tache ani. Wangu tache tache ani. Tebio vine. Honoring our partners. Honoring our partners. Let's pay a special tribute to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, the ruler of Abu Dhabi and president of UAE. Shortly after forming government, the president, your servant here, took a trip there. We scanned the world, geopolitics. We looked carefully in the east, in the west, we understood the challenges. You step just one step to the east, the west is squeaking. One step you are in Washington, Beijing is squeaking. You are in Beijing, Washington is squeaking. Fish village tikapa. We have more money to solve. Number two, I said, we will not look east, we will not look west, we will look in the middle.
We said we'll look at the GCC, the Gulf Cooperating Council. And we started working around. I don't want to say too much. The rest is history. You understand what I mean. And that's why we are here today. Those early steps, those deliberate steps. And we are happy that the ruler of Abu Dhabi and the president of UAE, United Arab Emirates, allowed his team, allowed his team, heard what we were looking for, and we found common ground. We found common ground. So we want to thank our colleague, my colleague, my brother from there. We also want to give a special thanks to President of the UAE for another reason, for allowing His Highness Sheikh Tanun Ben Zayed Al Nayan to do the chairman of IHC to allow him to support this process. Special appreciation for that. The team that we worked with from the early days. You know, sometimes Zambians can make you feel like you have been running the country for 10 years when it's only two years, six months. <laughs> because they lampoon you with all the problems, even those that you inherited. Adinewe <laughs> war. Hey! Nalei push omukashi munganda. But then we said, it is important that as a country we do things deliberately, not by chance. So I want to say what you are witnessing today is not a chance issue. It's a deliberately orchestrated process to be where we are today. And I ask Zambians sometimes, make what a patience. Otherwise, those before us, that's why we have into. We have 1.5 billion dollars that you eat this debt. Are we? Life is not like that. So thank you to our colleagues and the team that we worked with, Chairman, you are allowed to work with us. We are very grateful for that. Strategic developments, strategic developments, achievement. Upon taking office, we realized Mopanu was a critical asset to Kitwe, to Mufrila, to Copa Bell, to Zambia. Critical asset. And we took a decision which culminated into what you are seeing today. This is a very important asset. Should never have been allowed to, to, to degenerate, to decline. To, should have never been allowed to risk the integrity of the assets in Mopan in their totality. You pay the price, you do those things. And I hope the country is learning something out of this. Today is a confirmation that the two partners, UAE, Abu Dhabi in particular, Zambia, gave the mutual respect. You can only do such things if there's mutual respect. I'm honest with you. For my sins of the past, as a corporate finance guy, as a transactions guy, you can never consummate a transaction if there's no mutual respect. Never. Never works. You can try, but it will never work. So thank you for that mutual respect. We must cherish it, celebrate it. Let me disclose a few facts. 
Mopani was not only receiving capital injection, he is not just going to receive capital injection out of this transaction for mine development. It is also this transaction going to see a substantial debt reduction. In our country, we inherited a debt stock, official creditors, bilaterals, private creditors, as you know, bondholders, which we've been working very hard to resolve. Minister of Finance is here. We spent sleepless nights since we took office to resolve that, because we know that Python is creating a problem for us, squeezing our necks, our ribs, and our legs, called Debt Mountain, which we inherited. We didn't create it. And we are trying to unwrap the Python. Others are making noise. So, but, the point is that part of the debt mountain we are having to deal with is not just the official creditors and the private creditors, as you know. It is including in companies like Mopan. $1.5 billion of debt was lampooned on Mopan by ourselves, those who came before us. It's not about talking about those who were there before us. It's us as a people. It's us as a people, collective responsibility. But that debt grew to a level of $1.72 billion, thereabouts, just sitting in Mopani. This transaction has allowed us to unwrap this python of the $1.72 billion of debt on Mopani. And we brought it down, we brought the figure to somewhere around U.S. dollar five, 576 million. These are the small details that Zambians need to understand. This is why there was need to work diligently over a period of time. If you take over a house and it doesn't get swept, it's not just the debt you are seeing. Tefi kofi mule monaparia. Kwaliba nama rats under the cupboards there. So if even if even if you are because behind what you saw as citizen, there were other complications. So we had to bring Glencorn board, we had to bring suppliers. However, supplier never woke up. They were complications around suppliers who had not been paid, not for two years, for four, five, six years. There were complications around workers. The union leadership have spoken here. There were complications around the council. The mayor has spoken. There were complications in the constituencies. So the complications were not what you were seeing like these two flags. When you see that Zambian flag, you see the green, you see the black color, orange, you see the red. Actually, to form that red color, there were more colors that were added there. This is, that's the truth about life. So, I am appealing to the people of Zambia that you must look between the lines when you are faced with problems and try and be part of the solution rather than be the problem, perpetual problem. Here we are. I don't think you knew about what I've just told you. I don't think so. So we had to deal with these issues. They were court cases. And I said to Kabuswe, Minister of Finance is here, Minister of Transport is here, Minister of, uh, you know, Copperboard is here. This government doesn't want to do business in court. We don't want to mine in court. 
especially in courts in London. That are very expensive. Before you appear in court in London, you've already forked out $10,000 air ticket before you even find accommodation. So we had to take out these court matters and bring them in the boardrooms. Hence what we're witnessing today. I believe you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mopani's copper production, Abena Kitwe, Abena Mafkin, went down to 65,000 metric tons only. With this transaction, the copper production for Mopani will scale up to 230,000 metric tons. Area <laughs> Shidi, adding on towards our 3 million tons target. This is what you do when you run a country. You don't just walk like you are in the dark room. No. Kulolesha, we know, we know, alolesha. Wafu mamu. Waya mkulala. Ulelota, we know. No, 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 <laughs> Fellow citizens, with this production increase that we expect, the mine plans we have agreed with our partners, the mine development plans, there will be more jobs. First, there will be security of tenure for the people who work there. Your jobs were fragile because you could lose a job any time. If the mine is not performing, your job is at stake. complicated. This is simple stuff. This is simple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the jobs that are in Mopani, including the jobs of suppliers, my dear friends, your jobs, the jobs of the people you employ as suppliers and contractors are anchored on the viability of Mopani. If Mopani is not viable, you cannot sustain your jobs. So you must support Mopani. You must support this transaction. To live for every winner. winner. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Support this transaction. It is in your self interest. Now you are being paid what you have not been paid for four years. It's a time to celebrate. It's a time to say thank you to someone, not me, but to the people of Zambia. To the people of Zambia. More jobs will come along. More jobs will come, more benefits to, more business opportunities will come, including to our marketeers at Chisoko in the market. Because my customers number, Bakulaisa, Mui Tumba. Hey, Mui Tumba, there will be something. Because it's coming from the mine. Ka something, ain't it? Ka something. All of us will benefit. That's what I'm calling strategic benefits that will come out of this transaction. National pride. Let me talk for a while. National pride. Just our Zambian pride. That the Zambians, today's Zambians, through this transaction, through ZCCM IH, you are retaining 49%, as you have heard. So this is not a handover. It's welcoming a new partner. This is pride indeed. You will remain owners. You will participate at the board level. You will participate at the management level. You will participate in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the job profiling. Mumba Nava Voka Kare. Mumba Nava Voka Deep Voice. Kum for everyone. More jobs. Yes, there will be more jobs. Quality jobs. 
But he raised something that people didn't pick. I saw, I like to watch the body language. When he was talking about workers of suppliers and contractors, he raised a criticism here that if they are being paid by Mopani, they too must pay their workers. Yes. I think that's what he was saying here. So, now, national pride. This is very important. Let me move on to local benefits. Very briefly, the introduction of a supplier development program in partnership with UNDP is part of the menu. Supplier development program. Ukua farmer Zambian suppliers so that they can supply in a credible and decent manner. Very important. Training them, working with them. I know never got experience, but there's need to have the experience where you deliver your product or your service, which is of quality, at a fair price, and you deliver on time. Fin to finger. Quality, fair price, on time. No. This is why the country's economy went down to minus 2.8% GDP growth. Because we're delivering air. And those who were delivering Umwela, have not been paid. Have not been paid. But they delivered air. Anyway. You people behind, don't motivate me to say more things. Just let me. <laughs> so, supplier development program in partnership with UNDP, in partnership with the Chamber of Mines, and the unions, and the suppliers themselves, so that we work as one team. Very important. This program will enhance the capacity of Zambian suppliers. It will also assist you, the suppliers, and invariably your workers, to access capital. Very important. Capital in your businesses. Fairly priced capital. Minister of Mines, Minister of Finance, Minister of the Copper Belt. I am using this opportunity to explain through this transaction, Zambian government, UPND policies as well. These are the ones I'm talking about here. But you can't implement policies on your own. You need partners like this. You need unions. You need supplier associations. You need the workers to cooperate. Honorable Mabeta, I heard what you said here. I took, I took mental notes. All the MPs who have spoken, we heard. But we want to work in a way that we promote workers' interests in this Mopan, so that workers are better looked after, including social corporate responsibility or programs. But we want to promote suppliers also, so that they supply correctly, effectively. We also want to support the company so that we don't sink Mopani because of this transaction and that we have some guapo. Mulekutika. That we have some guapo now. Draining the business to a point that it cannot be viable. If it's not be viable, we all lose. Simple. So it's in our interest to support Mopani to be commercially viable. So everything we say we need must be put in context so that the workers are happy, suppliers are happy, unions are happy. Kitwe City Council is happy, Mufrila is happy, the mine is also happy and is progressing. Shareholders are also happy. Kwabulama shareholders, there will be no money we are talking about here. I thought I should give this small lecture. So there is always diversified interest which we must take account of. The coin has two sides, right? If you flip it, you see the heads. Someone head. Someone says, "How is the coin? How does it look like?" Now you a head, but flip it the other tail. But it's one coin. So we want this coin called Mopani to survive all round. 
to succeed all round. Future vision, international investments. I want Zambian companies, I urge Zambian companies, business people here, emulate the success of our counterparts, these from Abu Dhabi, from UAE. Let's emulate what they've achieved. Look at this country. I've been studying this country. I, I read, I research, I look, and as hmm, they've moved. 50 years ago, what was this country? What was this country 50 years ago? What is it today? Kubumba. Let us work as a country. Honestly speaking, if you can't learn some lesson from colleagues, I don't know what sort of person you are. Me, I'm a perpetual student. I'm learning every day. Even when I'm dreaming, I'm learning something. So we want to say open here some elements that are relevant of the business culture where these partners of ours are coming from. We want to incorporate those in the way we work so that we can move Zambia forward, develop this country. Let Zambia be what it should be. Area shift. Let's learn how they use the oil resources. Not many natural resources they have. But they've used the limited resources effectively. Let's use our copper, cobalt, nickel, manganese, lithium. All of them. Emeralds. Emeralds, Sujula, everything. Let's use them properly. That's a message. I don't want to say anything more. Nina and the Pafula. Nina and the Pafula. Tell you. The late President Chiruba will say, Vane, Twachula Pafula. Twachula Pafula. Munomuchaloches. But ukuchula uku ili ingi ni fuevo ni fuevo who don't make the right decisions when those decisions are needed ni fuevo who don't work hard ni fuevo who cheat ourselves hey I'm quiet nombanga wa sheta ni mbuto uzako lola chingi no Hey, Gawaria name Buto Shons, Yonse. Washete Mbuto. Number at harvesting much bemanja. I know in Chinyanja ni kukolo. Uga sombolenshi. Kabir mbuto wari ya. Number ga sombolenshi. These are the issues we create for ourselves. Then you point a finger at Awe ni H Uria win. Ewa let it ama problems. Awe ni ne mulanda. Say is your mulela. Let's work diligently as a country. God loved us so much. Gave us a beautiful country, rich country, resources. But why having our people to be poor? We have a drought now. Let's work with the government. Let's work with the traditional leaders and the church to ensure we do two things. Feed our people, one. Two, gravitate agriculture to irrigation. Epela, and it amkwai. We need your support in all these areas. Mupani is one example only. But Shaft 28. Shaft 28. Shaft 28. You have seen things are happening already there. 20 years that mine has been dead. But this government, in two and a half years, there's work going on in Shaft 28. Something going on in Mimbula. Mingomba, Lubambe. KCM, 
This thing is giving me sleepless nights. But we are working very hard on KCM. We don't want to do it wrongly because it was done wrongly before. Navambivaria. So we want to do it correctly. It's difficult. It was messed up, but we are working very hard. That's my request. I can go on. The copper belt is now back in life. Back. And we want to take it beyond what it was in the 80s. In the 70s. Including football clubs. Mufrila Wanderers. Ron United. Nkana. Those clubs will only get better when the businesses are working well. That's what we're trying to do. That's the sequence. Abena Kopala. Abena Mafkwen. Let me appreciate once more our partners. Let me appreciate that my colleagues were able to visit us towards concluding this transaction during the holy month of Ramadan. They were able to visit us. That's commitment. That's commitment. And we wish you well as you travel back to Abu Dhabi. And pass our warm regards to my brother, the government, and the people of UAE. But how can I talk this language without thanking the Zambian team, the Zambian team, the cabinet that agreed to this transaction? the committee of ministers that worked on this transaction, the technical team committee that worked on this transaction, our advisors, the workers of Mopani who were patient, very patient, the unions, the suppliers, contractors, and various stakeholders, but more importantly, the people of Zambia, who gave us the opportunity to save this country in these capacities. I tell my cabinet colleagues, we're lucky people. Out of 20 million Zambians, you choose this fe fellow speaking here to be your president. I'm a lucky guy. I must deserve it. I must work hard. I must work hard. <laughs> to be the Minister of Mines out of 20 million Zambians. God loves you. Amen. To be the Minister of Finance, Minister of Transport, Hallelujah. Minister Copper Belt, out of 20 million Zambians. We must deserve it by working hard. of Kitwe. out of so many people of Kitwe. The MPs, elected officials, councillors. Not if you are That's my call. But I also call on the people of Zambia to do your part, to work hard. To work hard, to be focused. You can only help a people that want to be helped. You can't help somebody who doesn't want to be helped. You can take the horse to the drinking point for water. If he doesn't want to drink water, it will not drink. It will just stand there. Why the horse anyway? Let me talk about cows. <laughs> and uh, I, I was listening to one politician competitor of mine. He said, ah, HH likes going to the ranch. This is a useless place of his. He's just looking at cows. So, really? You're calling cows useless? <laughs> really? These beasts can educate all your children. <laughs> now, you can see there's a total misunderstanding 
of what work is, what business assets is. After saying that about HH, afternoon she's smiling, drives to the supermarket and buys beef from ShopRite, from Pick and Pay, and she's buying the beef from HH. And she enjoys her dinner. Another round of applause for the head of state. One more, please, while we are still standing. He deserves a standing ovation.